Welcome to today's live stream, Friday, February 5th, 2021, in 3, 2, 1. People will be joining as we go, and I will, I do have a PDF that I'm going to make uh, about this broadcast, everyone who is joining us, and um, I will make that available to you free of charge. Just ask me because I'm going to be referring to a lot of different, um, a lot of different screens today to share with you. So the very first thing that we're going to speak about, and before I start, let me just tell you something about this big flower that you're seeing here. Um, I hope it doesn't fall down. I've got it all propped up. It's, it's, it's many years old. It's been with me since 2006. Uh, that flower is a morning glory flower, and it's actually the branding of my life. I call it my life branding. Um, that's That's got another story with it. I'm full of stories, but I won't bore you with the story. Just to know that that flower, if you see that flower anywhere on the web, that flower was drawn for me. I have the copyright to it, and it follows me all through my life, anywhere I go. So um, that's why that big flower is up there. Um and then in the upper right hand, you'll see we just, um, we just this high Kara, we just this past week um, finished with our new logo. And you can see if you look really, really closely it, where it says hair, you can, see, you can see my little morning glory flower there. And I'm just thrilled about that, that they were able to incorporate that into the logo. So we're going to talk about the top. 10 mistakes. Now, the very first thing um, that we need to take into consideration is what size is your head? What size is your head? I'm wearing Kristen. I'll get that that uh, question a lot, I'm sure, in the next hour and a half. But this wig that I have on right now, her name is Kristen. She's from Jean Renault. And what color do you see? <laughs> Kara, anxious to learn more about gray wigs from Las Vegas, retired realtor in Salt Lake. Woohoo! Retired. Oh, Kara, we could talk, couldn't we? Yes. I was not going to get all involved in all that mask and disinfecting. No, 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 no. It's time to stop. So anyway, as I was saying, Kristen is by Jean Renault. Kristen is one of my absolute favorite wigs. All right. So the very first mistake that I made was I did not measure. I just assumed that I was a petite because I'm a petite woman. I'm five foot two and a half. And as I said before, my bones are really small. Could I, could I stand to lose some weight? Yep. But I'm still considered a, a petite woman. Thanks, Carol. Welcome. Um, so a bunch of you have asked me now, hopefully now here, we're going to do a little bit. We're going to try to get a little fancy guys. We have to learn this technology. <laughs> I'm going to share my screen with you and you are going to see a very short video um, from wigs.com. One of the biggest manufacturer sellers in the industry. And I want to share that with you. So hang on one moment. This is only a minute long. are an average cap size, but let's measure to make sure. What you'll need is a soft measuring tape. Your first measurement will be ear to ear, from the top of one ear to the other side. Your second will be your circumference, which is where your wig will sit. The third measurement will be front to back. You'll start at the front of the hairline all the way back to your nape. If you're anything like me, where all of your measurements don't equal one size, always go with the ear-to-ear -ear measurement. Mine is 13 inches. My circumference is 20 and a half, and my front-to-back measurement is 13 inches. Typically, I can wear a petite. I can also wear a petite slash average, or if I have to, I can wear an average because most wigs do have adjustable straps. This will allow you to tighten your circumference up to an inch to an inch and a half. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel. I can't stress enough how important it is for you to measure for your wig. <laughs> because what's going to happen if, is if you don't measure properly, 
you that wig is going to be so tight on your head you're just not going to be able to wait to, to get it off there's one more thing that i wanted to share with you also name brand wigs hello in in zorbit in zorbit <laughs> how are you welcome welcome to everybody uh some people have asked me about large wigs now let's take a look at another screen name brand wigs which i have done business with before great to do business with and they have a page you could see right there it says wig type see that large wigs so if you're having problem finding large wigs you can go here to name brand wigs and there, there will be some help for you hi carol sue thank you glad you like that information i look through the comments and just try to answer things that people ha have have questions on so go over to, to name brand wigs i don't get any money from them for any of this but it's just information that i find that that I want to share with you. So, and again, measure, measure, always measure. And the other thing that you can do is just type into your Google search bar, type in large wigs and you'll get a whole bunch of other information, but this, this should really, really help you. So now the other thing that I wanted to talk about, and this has to do with the feel of the wig. I've spoken to you before about Noriko. Now, remember, Noriko, Amore, and Renee of Paris, all the same wig manufacturers. So if Noriko is tight on you, chances are pretty good that Renee of Paris will be tight on you and Amore will also be tight on you. So it's just really, really, I just can't stress enough. You've got to get right from the get-go, measure your head. So, so we're going to talk about silver as opposed to white. And the thing that always tripped me up, I thought I was ordering a silver white wig and a lot of these color combinations, they'll say it's silver white and there was no silver to be found. It was white. This color that I have on now, we're gonna talk about this in, in a couple of minutes, but let me just start off with Julia by John Renault. Look at the difference between these two wigs. This is the same company, Jean Renault, this is Oyster, which is 56F51. And then just the lighter color, the light gray. I mean, so those of you who, who really are white, white, you're, you're probably going to want to go for that lighter wig, but I'm telling you, there's not a lot of silver in it. But what I wish they would do is, co is combine Jean Renault's 56F51 and the white, I think that that would be an absolute drop dead, gorgeous combination. Let's move on. Now we're going to go to my most popular video, and that is Eve. So here you can see Eve in the 56F51, otherwise known as Oyster by Jean Renault, and just doing a spin for you. I'll put the link to this video below in the show notes. And then, of course, I wanted to compare it to Eve in the white, otherwise known as color 60. So you can see the real differences between them. If I had it to do over again, I probably would purchase the 56F51 in the Eve because the white, to me, just doesn't look realistic, to be honest. So now you see how white Eve was, that Eve was. So who said that they were snow white, the color of snow? Um, Lynn is in orbit. You are the color. Lynn, I am the same color as you. My hair is white, white, and it's got little teeny tiny strands of black in it. And actually, those are coming back. It's very strange. Um, little teeny tiny strands. So again, I thought that this would be snow white as i've said and shared before what you really have to be careful of is yellow and jean renault puts colors in their names they'll tell you what the color numbers are below the wig and some other brands will do that as well 
I think Raquel Welch uses numbers. I, I'm going to have to do a video for you guys on the ones that actually use numbers so that you don't have to guess what's in that, what's in the wig itself. Um, but again, this Eve, along with the other one that's the oyster color, if they would combine them, it would be beautiful. Now let's go over to Kristen. I, I wasn't going to wear Kristen, but you can see Kristen today. And let me share her with you. Okay, so now here is Kristen. And you can see I've got her on my head right now. And this is probably one of my top three wigs. I just love, love, love this wig. And again, I wished I had ordered her in... 56 f 51 i do wear her often i don't feel self-conscious or anything like that i always get a lot of compliments but again if they just would put a little bit more not brown but dark and true silver in this wig with the white i think she would be drop dead gorgeous and they'd sell a ton of them now since i have kristen on right now i will show you if you'd like to see what her what her lace front looks like it's beautifully done it's a beautifully done lace front and i'm thinking that i may buy kristen in the color the other color with with the uh, silver in it the 56 f 51 because i really love her that much okay before we leave kristen let me just and again because i love her and obviously a lot of other people do too you can see if you head over to wigs.com that they've got a page devoted just to Kristen. I tried looking on the Jean Renault website, but I didn't see a page as comprehensive as this one. But if you click on these, you know, these little icons here, you'll see the different colors. And there's my beloved 56 F51. Um, they have another color, which you'll see coming up uh, that has some ash blonde in it but my experience with anything that says ash or blonde is it presents as yellow so but they do have some really fun colors here and um, I think that uh, if you like something that's just hitting above your collar you'd probably really like this wig Kristen if you like a, a... Some people like really short, some people like around chin length, some people like collar length. I tend to like collar length, at least right now at this point in my life. Maybe that won't be the case all the time. But if you like that, just just above your collar, you know, right between your, you know, your ear and your collarbone, this is going to be a good wig for you. Let me give you. So to review, what I've been talking about is oyster versus white or if we're in genre now 56 f 51 versus 60 the other thing that i wanted to say is you could have two wigs from jean renault in the color 60 and they can still be different on your head. They can still look different. The color can still look different. Has anyone else had that experience? Let me know in the comments. Um, that's maddening that you think you've got it all figured out. Again, I just feel like there needs to be some really serious, real serious standard standardization in, in the wig industry. Okay, now I'm going to hopefully make you laugh. <laughs> going to make you laugh. doesn't look anything like the picture. Look at this. I don't know. Heather, help me. Oh my. Let's talk about style. So, um, hi, Mary. Nice to see you. Yes, Mary, we have to recognize ourselves in the mirror. We have to be, we have to be very honest with ourselves. Okay. So Mary, or who was it? Christine, you said cute, but I like you in long hair. And you know what? 
it took me a while to figure out that I really like myself in long hair. My husband loves me in long hair and, and I always fought him on it mostly because as a businesswoman, I didn't want to have to fuss with my hair every day. You know, you're a realtor. They call you up and you know, Kara, you, you can uh, relate to this, right? They call you up. You got to fly out the door in a moment's notice. You, you have to, you have to look good when you're serving the public. At least you should, in my opinion. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is, again, these are the top 10 mistakes. Mistake number one, not measuring. Mistake number two, not understanding that even when you do measure, some wigs can still, brands can still run a bit small. So if you fall in love with that wig, just remember the brand that runs small, don't do it, don't do it. You're going to end up sending it back. Colors, oyster versus white. Always, always try to find numbers that support the colors of that wig brand if you possibly can. Number four, cost. Now, this was a big mistake that I made. A big mistake. I don't know why I made so many mistakes. Why do I have to learn everything so hard in my life? Everything has to come to me so hard. It just this seems to be the way my life goes. Um... I used to buy all my wigs from one company. I really loved the company. I loved the people. I won't say who it is. Then as I got more knowledge, I realized, wait a minute, I think I might, I should shop around for price, right? As long as it's a good, reputable company. And that's another thing. Make sure you're dealing with a good, reputable company. Um, you have to really, I, that's probably another whole video, but just go with the big, name brands like name brand wigs um wig studio one uh taz is over there and crazy wig lady is over there um wigs.com just stick with the big ones and you should be all right so then i started looking uh, around for um different price points and i'll tell you about my very first wig this was my very very first wig that I purchased and this was back in March of 2018 I love Zoe Zoe is almost the same color as my own hair look at her she moves I'll put more about the specs below look at that sweep of that bang she has a lace front you can see in the mirror, the back. I literally plopped this on my head. I really wanted to spend some time talking about Zoe today because she really does prove my point about getting an education about wigs. I paid $807.50. I've got the, I've got the uh, ticket right here. $807, that's everything, including tax, shipping, $807.50. I'm going to tell you something. I have seen this wig online over $1,200. I wish that I had kept this wig. Again, this was the very first wig. Go with your gut. The very first wig that I purchased. And she had all the bells and whistles. She had some, not all human hair. I think she's 30% human hair. The color was so true to my own colors. If you've got really white hair and you don't mind having a wig with white hair, this is the one that I would go for and just watch her to see if she goes on sale. But $807.50. And so what the reason I sent her back was because I felt like, oh my gosh, what am I, am I stupid? I can't spend that much money on a wig. And as I said, now I wished I had kept her. So let's see around the internet I will show you this screen there it is look at this look <clears throat> look at the differences in these prices can everybody see this screen I don't know how I know some of you are looking on an iPad some of you might be on a mobile device but look at these prices 
799, 922, 899, 922. Let's see what else we have. And that's all the ones for Zoe. Okay. And then last night, last night I saw one, it was $1,200. I should have kept that screen. So um, it's a beautiful wig. I, I, I honestly cannot say enough about Zoe. She has a beautiful lace front, even more beautiful than this one here. She has a monofil mil monofilament top. Her denier is, so, is silkier than anything I have ever touched. And again, if you've got deep pockets or if you just want to save for that wig, that's one that I would get. She is available in my Amazon store. I put her in my store. Um, I was thrilled that she's available in the Amazon store. Let me see how much she is in the Amazon store. Zoe is... There she is. In the Amazon store, she is $836. Okay, so no, you better not go there because that's not the cheapest that we found, is it? So that just proves my point. Just look around, everybody. Just look around. Okay. Let's talk about the cap. Remember, the title of this live stream is the top 10 mistakes the cap let's talk about the cap what type of wig cap is best for you we're not going to watch the videos but again remember i'm putting all this information down in the show notes for you so basically what you're seeing here with all this wefting, this is a basic wig cap. No lace in the front. Very affordable. That's what they say. $75 to $150. And I think that these are old prices. They're going to be more money than that. Um, again, go with your major brands. But this is the cheapest that you can get. You know, if you go on Amazon and you see something for $16, I don't know. I, I've considered taking $200 and just ordering a whole bunch of cheap wig, wigs from Amazon, trying them on and showing you all that, you know, they say that you get what you pay for. And I, and I think that that's really true. So the other thing about a basic wig cap is a lot of times they have permities, you know, that stuff that feels like a bird's nest. I didn't know anything about permities when I ordered my first wig. I just, <laughs> I just liked the way it looked. So just know that it's probably going to have some permities so it can hold up. So the volume can hold up. Then another kind of cap is called the lace front. Lace front which is what I just showed you when I lifted up my bang area, right? It's very natural a lot of times, but having said that, some lace fronts are better than that, better than others, and it doesn't necessarily have to do with, um, because you pay a lot more money, you're going to get a better lace front. Some companies just do a better job than others. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to make myself a note. Um, that would make a good video, a good study. Um, lace front studies okay and of course the price is going to go up and of course um it, it does allow for off the face styling because you know usually you can when the wind blows it just looks a lot more natural higher price point a little bit more picky fussy they have to be handled with care and the next type is monofilament monofilament again remember i'm putting this this link down there for you monofilament um monofilament was kind of confusing to me because there's several kinds of monofilament 
You can have a monofilament crown, just monofilament on the crown. You can have a monofilament where the part is. Might, the part might be on the left or it might be on the right. Um, you can have a monofilament where the whole top is monofilament. Those are the good ones because if the whole top, and of course more expensive, but if the whole top is monofilament, you can part it anywhere you see that monofilament which kind of looks like a, a, a see-through film. Anywhere you see that, you can part the hair where you see that monofilament. And there's a new option out now, according to, um, according to breastcancer.org. There's a new option on the scene, and it's called a double monofilament top. I haven't seen that yet. I have to do some research about that. And French knotted tops. Again, I have to do some research in that, and I'm and I'm sure that they'll be pricey. And also, the thing with these um, monofilament or lace, the, these higher end wigs, they have like a four way stretch. So if you tend to have a larger head size, you're, there's going to there's going to be some more give in that particular wig. But these monofilaments, these are the most expensive wigs. As you can see, typically over 500 and going up toward $1,000. Let's talk about density. How much hair is in that wig? There's a wig that I have. Her, she's by Aesthetica. Um, and her, she's in Lilac Haze, and her name is Orchid. There's a lot of hair on that wig. But not as much hair as my Lady Godiva wig which you could search for her on my channel. Density, we were talking about density. So this, this density is pretty good. She, she looks pretty realistic. She's not super full and thick. So pay attention to the density of a wig. You know, as the reviewer is, is running their hands through it, that's one of the reasons we run our hands through it. Show you the denier. Right there, denier means how it, how the wig feels, how the hair feels. Is it silky? Is it broom-like? None of my wigs feel like a broom, I promise you. And then we spoke about permatiques. Um, and then finally, I want to show you very important about wig accessories. Before I bought my first wig, I was watching Jill's channel, Jill Lynn Beauty Therapy. Yes. Well, Jill had a great video, and it's still up there, about what you should buy if you get your first wig. So I went out and I got all this stuff. I got the It Stays, thank goodness. I got a lot of this stuff. I got these combs here that you see. I got um, wig, uh, wig stands, just a bunch of stuff. So you are gonna, you are going to need some accessories. So my advice is, if you're new to wigs, the one thing that I think is invaluable is it stays, and that's it at my Amazon store. Um, and by the way, the Amazon store thing, you know, I used to get upset when I'd see that link, but Honestly, some things we make five cents on, some things we make a little bit more on, but you got to have a way to pay for these wigs. So every little bit helps. So I appreciate it if you shop in my store. The It Stays, I'm so glad I bought that because I have It Stays on right now, and this wig is not going anywhere. I don't have a wig cap. I have one bobby pin way in the back, and as a matter of fact, it's not even a bobby pin. Let me see if I can show you what it is in case the wind blows. It's a pretty, let's see if I can find, can you see that little pin right there? And what that does is it anchors it to the bottom. I hope you can see it. It anchors that wig right to the bottom of my hairline. And I'll tell you, that works like a charm for me. Because as I said, I 
<laughs> some of the wigs that I bought when I first bought them, I bought them too small. And for some reason on me, a lot of the wigs tend to ride up. I guess I've got a flat head in the back. I suppose if you're rounded, it's, it's better. But um, okay, so the it stays. So what I do is I put the it stays right there, right at the hairline. And then I carefully put the wig on, wait for about 30 seconds for, for it to dry. Hi I would also buy um, these combs here. These combs here, we always have them with us because, you know, especially if you've got a long wig on, you want to make sure you've got that in your purse. Um, I have wig brushes, but I like this better. I, this is my favorite, my favorite thing, my absolute favorite thing. So the It Stays, the wig combs, and I do use these. Um, this is just something to, to dry your wig. When you wash your wig, you hang it on the shower and you can dry your wig. But I have to put in my wig store those plastic wig stands. I have six of those, and I put my my absolute favorite wigs on those on those wig stands. So until you get to know your yourself, your hair, all that, don't go out and buy all this stuff. And and um, you'll know what you need after a while. But I think that you'll find if you get the it it stays, it's going to serve you well. Let me read Mary's comment. My 10 year anniversary for triple neg breast cancer next month. Oh, wow. Congratulations on, on your 10 year anniversary. Wigs gave me confidence to go public. I didn't want to look like a cancer patient. Instead, I got many compliments of looking great. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. And, and as I've said before, um, and one of the things that was so difficult for me is um, in the beginning, the stigma. And you know what? I think the stigma is in our own heads. My goodness, look at Raquel Welch. Look at, look at people like Dolly Parton. Now I know she wears extreme wigs on her head, but Raquel Welch started her company because I think it was her sister who had, God bless her, Raquel Welch, it was her sister who, who had cancer. And um, for years, I've been getting these Paul Young catalogs, even before I ever thought about buying a wig. But I just think it's great. Even if, even if you're not losing your hair, you may not be able to get to the hair salon. I mean, I haven't been to the hair salon now in over a year, over a year with this COVID thing. And once you learn how to put them on and, and you just kind of have to do it, I, I guess that's my point. You just have to do it. And after a while, this wig, this right here, I had such a hard time getting ready today. It's just been the last couple of weeks. It's been crazy in my life. I had three minutes to put this wig on and I put it on first and I forgot my it stays. So I just took it off and then I put my it stays right, right there. I only put it on right here, right? Not even that far down on my forehead, right there. And then I wait about a minute. And I don't touch it or anything. Just make sure you wash it off your hand so it doesn't get stuck on your wig. And then I put the, carefully put the wig on and then I press it down. And it's, I know my wig is not going anywhere. And I do have, um, how I secure my hair is I pull it back in a ponytail. And then I take bobby pins, not too many, just four, like two on each side. And that's it. And then I put the wig on. And... The wind could blow. I could go dancing. I'm not worried about it. Anybody have any questions before I go on? It's 630. We've got 20 more minutes. Then I have to make my dinner. His husband's coming home. He was so sweet last night. He brought dinner home. Oh, and that reminds me. I'm going to change my Angela's answers to Thursday evenings. And I think from my studies that's going to be a good time for a lot of you. A lot of us on Friday nights, well, we used to go out. Uh, I don't know where you are in the world, but you might still be able to have dinner out on Friday night. So, um, and of course, it's always available on the replay. So you're not going to miss anything. But I will be moving it to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe 3. I have to look at the time. Um, but uh, so look for me there. New time, new day. And 
that's just a little bit of housekeeping there. My my last thing that I have for you, let's review the 10 mistakes. Um, top 10 mistakes, not measuring or measuring incorrectly. Remember the most important measurement if you can't measure, excuse me, the most important measurement if you're confused. Let's say you take all three measurements and you're like, I still don't know, I don't know. Take the one that goes from here to here, like a U right over your head. I'm told that that is the most important measurement, and I learned that from breastcancer.org. Great site. That's a great site. So measure, measure correctly, measure three times. Don't just measure one time. Did I miss you telling about the beautiful morning, Glory? Yes, um, Debbie, I will tell you about that in one second. I'm just going to review my top 10 mistakes. Measure, measure carefully, measure three times. Two, remember, amongst brands, fits can vary. So do as much homework as you can. As I said, I'm working on a short course for us. It's not going to be, I'm not going to charge for it. It'll be a PDF when it's ready for you. I will let you know. Um, colors, uh, you can have the same brand and they, you can have two different wigs from the same brand that say they're oyster or white and they can still look different. Why? Well, if you have a straight wig, the light hits it different. It's going to look different. You can like Felicity in Jean Renault color 60 and um, and let's see Felicity and Kristen in Jean Renault in 60. So Felicity has waves. So her color is going to look different. The light is going to bounce off differently. And Kristen, the light is going to bounce off differently. The way the hair bends, the light is going to. I've got lights right above me. When I'm out in the sun, this this wig, I get so many so many compliments on this wig. So don't be afraid of if you see a little bit of shine. Monitors are crazy. Um, remember to shop around. Shop, shop, shop till you drop. Really do your homework. Okay. And styles, remember, try to find something that's closest to the style that you know looked the best on you. That's my strong advice about styles. Um yeah, it's fun to get another wig and something different. But again, a lot of these wigs are expensive. So stick to what you know looks good on you, at least at first. Um, the cap, we talked about the construction of the cap. We've got the basic cap. We've got the lace front. We've got the monofilament, three different kinds, monofilament crown, monofilament part, monofilament top, which means covers a big area and you can part it anywhere. And those are going to be your more expensive options. Remember density, mistake number seven. I didn't understand density, which is why I bought that very expensive wig, Lady Godiva, in the very beginning. <laughs> Remember to check for permatease. If you don't like a lot of height or volume, you will not like permatease. Remember about some wig accessories for when you get your wig home. And number 10. Have some fun with your wig. Let me talk about that in a second, but answer Denise's question. Um, <laughs> yeah, Denise, wear it first time to a store. I, somebody had given me that advice, and that's exactly what I that's exactly what I did. And of course, you're going to bump into somebody at the store that you haven't seen for five years, and you've got the wig on. But then they're going to say, "Oh my gosh, you look beautiful. I love your hair." And you're going to say, "Thank you." And sometimes you might say, thank you, it's a wig, when you get a little bit more confidence. I tell people all the time now it's a wig. The morning glory behind me. Let me tell you about that. The morning glory is my life branding. It follows me in everything that I do. Many years ago, I was in Brooklyn, New York. I'm looking at my time. It's 6.43. Ask another question if you want while I'm blah blahing you. <laughs> But I was in Brooklyn, New York with my uh, with my husband and we were walking down a, a street. We had a lot of like multifamily houses on it. And there was this beautiful vine full of beautiful flowers that looked like that. And the vine went from the ground all the way up to like the second floor. And it was just full of those flowers. And there was a lady out there and she was tending to her vine. And I and I. I don't even think I'd ever seen a morning glory before. And I said, oh, that is so beautiful. I wish I could grow something like that. I love gardening. So I said to that lady, 
would love to grow something like that. And she bent down and she yanked up part of her vine, put it in a little cup, put some water in it. And from Brooklyn coming back to New York, I live in Rockland County, New York, which is about 30, 40 miles north of New York City. I was just praying, God, please let my morning glory not die. And they do not transplant well. I have learned that. But anyway, she told me what to do. Fast forward three months, I had the most beautiful morning glory vine. And then I learned how to harvest the seeds. I had thousands of seeds. And I was I was sending these seeds all over the world. That's another whole story. Um, and people were visiting my site. It was called Morning Glory Ministries at the time. And I would tell people a little bit about my life and I would send them the, the free seeds. So fast forward again to the year 2006 and I decided to start a real estate company. And I said to my husband, well, what should I call it? And he said, why don't you call it Morning Glory Realty? And I said, well, that's hokey. I'm not going to call it more. Nobody does that. And he said, no, I think it would be great. So I found an old seed packet and it had that flower on it. And I contracted with a, with a graphic artist and I said, can you plant, can you paint me a flower like this? And she did. And I had it copyrighted and that flower became my branding and everything I do has that flower attached to it. So when I was looking for someone to build my, my, my logo, you can see right up here in, in the upper right of my channel, um, my new logo has just got finished yesterday has my flower. She managed to stick it right in there. <laughs> I recorded um, professionally in Nashville a few years ago in 2012, and that morning glory is on my is on my CD. Let's see if I can show you. So the flower follows me everywhere I go and everything I do in my life. The Karen Carpenter song won't last a day without you. I um, did a Frank Sinatra song, um, a remake from a gorgeous song that Frank Sinatra did in, from the movie The Cardinal. And that's on here. Here's how it looks on my CD. And so my real estate channel, which, my, which our son Stephen has taken over now, I'll show you that. That's how, um, obviously, it's not the same flower, but you get the idea. So isn't that beautiful? That's So my son took over that site. Okay. So did I answer your question? Morning Glory wig reviews. Um... Here's the problem. I love that. Why didn't I think of that? Um, fabulous flower. I'm from Nashville. Nashville! Living south of Buffalo. My my studio at Nashville where we recorded. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, Morning Glory Wig Review. So I would love that. But I, when you change your channel name in YouTube, it could really hurt you. Uh, and as you can see, we're growing. I mean, we're in the growing I mean, you're always growing, but at this point, I, I don't want to do anything to stop that growth. I think it would, would confuse the algorithm, but, oh, why didn't I think of that? Mm -hmm. But at least it's in my logo wig that I have on Judy. Um, you can watch it on the replay on, and I talked about it a little bit is Kristen and you can find Kristen find her right there if you click on that link you'll it'll take you to Kristen don't do it now we're gonna we're only gonna be on for about another five minutes <laughs> I have to make dinner so the last thing that I want to say 
is number 10, wig mistakes. Top 10 mistakes. Not having fun with your wig. Have some fun, right? Don't take ourselves so seriously. There is a wig that I'm going to show you my screen again. There is a wig that I bought. Hold on. Just kind of fun, like maybe if you go out to a party, she's got blue, little blue, blue, but not bright blue. She has a nice side sweat bang, which is how I love to wear. And it parts on the, the part is on the left. So the bang sweeps to the right. I think I might keep her. What do you think? Let me know in your comments below. Dakota by Renee of Paris. So I wished I had kept Dakota. But let me show you what I thought I was getting when I bought Dakota. This is what I thought I was getting. This is what I thought I was getting. Doesn't she look gorgeous in there? So I bought that wig um, thinking that her root was going to be like a dark root. And she was more of like a, she was more blue. But because of how she fit, remember we talked about fit, go with something that's like you, how your hair is naturally. So I should have kept her. She's available on, on the Amazon store for $249. I don't know if I can get her cheaper than that anywhere. You could look around. I'll put a link down in the, in the show notes for her. But have some fun with your wigs. Just have a fun wig. And don't be afraid to wear your wigs and, and, and just have fun. So everyone, it is five minutes to seven. Can you believe it? The time has gone so, so fast. And you have all been so patient and kind. And before I sign off, anybody have any burning question or comment? Hello, Shorty in Idaho. I don't think I said hello to you. See that root? I really didn't mind that root. It's kind of the reverse of when we when we had... You know, when we had our black hair and it was growing out and we would see the white roots, now you see the black. But that's very trendy right now. And a lot of young girls are doing that. And uh, I just think it's fun. I really think it's fun. So there she is, two forty nine ninety. dollars um, I'm going to look and see. Let's see if, if she can be purchased anyplace else cheaper. Hold on. I'm just going to type in Dakota Lace Front wig by Renee of Paris. Let's see if there's anything else that's cheaper. So here she, here we go. So here's how you're going to search, right? Oh, look, $136 by wigs.com. See what I mean about, so Amazon does not have the cheapest prices, right? So you got to check around. Sometimes Amazon has the cheapest prices, $136. I'm doing the countdown. I'll see you next week. Hopefully I'll put another video video up between now and then. And I am ordering another, another uh, wig this week. And uh, God bless. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Morning Glory Wigs. Signing out. Thank you, Denise. Good night, all.